So gouache is opaque watercolour. They do vary quite a bit in quality, but as I say, this is the Winsor Newton permanent white. And you'll see, uh, if I put it on the, on the board, it is very opaque and very white. So we can use that basis of our permanent white and then tint it with watercolour. So if we start off with a bit of foliage, I will take a green, put that on my palette, add a bit of my white gouache to it. Obviously everything's going to be a little bit lighter and I will start putting some of this foliage into here. You can see how it covers really well. Best to mix your paint onto a palette and then put your gouache in because we don't want to contaminate it. Our watercolours with gouache, we can avoid it. different feel don't we to our watercolours normally that we use whereas the gouache gives us pencil crayons yes but different isn't it we obviously more in control as well
using black, you can use the black of the paper, or if it's a really dark paper, to be the uh, the shadows and your like windows. You can just leave those in place. Just the paper on the floor. Once it's dry, that's it. It's dry. 